When it comes to being a video game fan, one topic that has dragged me in time and time again is video games that are never completed and are now lost to time. And with more games being made now more than ever, we're losing games left and right. Obviously, me being a big fan of Cave Story, I have become a massive fan of Studio Pixel style of games. They're so charming and smooth, with wonderful chiptune jams that can be just as emotional as they are fun. Pixel himself, having such a perfectionist attitude, is not new to scrapping games though. Hell, fans are big on just trying to play parts of his games that never made the final cut. This brings us to today's topic, Rockfish. Rockfish was going to be a game about a fish traversing a complex ocean, with the goal to help a mermaid within a broken necklace by collecting all the pieces of the pendant now broken off of it. There's many dangers in the ocean ready to stop you, but thankfully, we have a helpful partner who is ready to help us out. In terms of gameplay, it certainly feels like Pixel has taken everything he learned from Cave Story and is applying even more complex mechanics into a game more akin to Ika-chan. As I said, you have a partner throughout most of the game who can be equipped with any weapons you collected on your quest, and every weapon in the game can be charged for a multitude of shot types. The whole game seems like it was going to be a small yet fun in-depth experience. But before we look more at the game, let's look a bit more at that sweet, sweet development history. Rockfish began its development back in 2010, just months after Cave Story WiiWare came out. Thinking about it, the WiiWare release probably got Pixel passionate about beginning another game. From 2010 to 2011, we learned so much about the game's development thanks to Pixel's development blog, which he thankfully updated for a lot of steps for Rockfish. Fun fact, Rockfish was actually meant to be a game released for iPod Touch and iPhones, which I know I just said the game started in 2010, but I truly didn't realize how long ago that was until I heard it was supposed to be for iPod Touch touch of all platforms. Pixel documented a ton on his own achievements on the development side of things, rather than the game itself, which felt super rad of him to do. I know this isn't so much Rockfish development, but he talks a lot about systems he makes himself to streamline the development of the game, which is really cool to see for me. For anybody interested, there's an archive of the development long provided by the Cave Story Tribute site, which will be linked below in case you want to give it a good read. Although, do keep in mind, unless you speak Japanese, you're going to need a pretty good translator right by you. Now, as for the game itself, a lot of what Pixel does share is a lot of funny sprite showcases of enemies coming to the game, such as a crab jumping and an NPC that looks like a dancing poo. At, at least according to Pixel. Outside of that, however, Pixel does begin to show a lot of not so great looking dev messages as he begins to talk about how there's no fun factor for Rockfish and how developing for mobile players requires a lot less explaining and more subtle ways to show the game's features and gameplay without things like extensive tutorials. The game ended up being a tedious struggle to develop when it still had no unique thing about it in Pixel's opinion. So, the game went on an indefinite hiatus with Pixel wanting to work on a smaller game instead the smaller game seemingly being the Azurashi remake for mobile, actually. And for a long time, outside of those development shots, this is all we had on Rockfish. The next time people would get to see Rockfish again was at the 2012 Independent Games Festival, where Pixel would bring a unique build of the game for the festival for attendees to see in action. After that though, all the public would ever see from this version of the game was screenshots and development posts Pixel would upload to Twitter starting in 2021. These batches of screenshots were amazing to see since, again, Rockfish was so shortly discussed with Pixel. With time though, even these posts would come to a stop, and we went back to hearing less and less from the game. Thankfully though, not too much longer would have to go by before our next feed of content. On July 30th, 2023, Pixel decided to drop a public download to the beta build of Rockfish, and this gave so many fans of his work a big moment of joy, as we were finally able to play a game we knew Pixel made, but barely saw or knew anything about. So let's finally dig into the game itself. The beta starts off with a small cutscene of a sleeping red mermaid being transformed into a necklace, and the pendant attached being shattered and spread across the waters within the game. 
we wake up as a yellow fish who's really hungry and wants some food. It isn't long before we find ourselves with the pendant and are now tasked with helping the mermaid. As I mentioned before, the gameplay feels a lot like Ika-chan, where you build up momentum underwater by propelling yourself forward with just the push of a button. Within minutes, we find ourselves a task, a weapon in the form of bubbles, and a good feeling of traversing the world around us. Overall, the game is cute and definitely feels like a genuine mobile built experience with how simple and fast paced boss battles and world traversal is. Even the maps feel like their size was built more around mobile platforms. Sure, that's just another way of saying smaller, but smaller in subtly smart ways, as the map never hides too much from you. Everything you need to see is an immediate view. The mechanic of having a partner is also incredibly fun. Having some kind of secondary weapon mechanic in general is typically really fun and neat, but having it behind a character helps drive the fun a whole lot more. Not to mention that this demo has a total of three bosses. That's really generous, all things considered, though there's not too much to do outside of that. The game certainly is just a beta for a game that never came out, but it's still really fun. It's quaint and definitely fulfilling to finally have some more studio pixel lost media, for lack of better words. That said though, this doesn't quite end the story of Rockfish. You see, everything on Rockfish that we have at the moment is technically all before a reset in development. Yep. Just like Cave Story, Rockfish also had a development reset that transformed the game into something completely different. The development of this new version of Rockfish would begin in early 2012, with Pixel stating in his blog that he had some major points he wanted to focus on while developing the game. The first being that the game was going to take four times the workload that it took to make Ikachan. With this, he felt the quality of the game would be guaranteed with that much effort. The second key point was that he wanted to go back to the goal of making a game for mobile, specifically the iPhone. In early 2010s, mobile gaming was a big deal because of how fast and big games were becoming in such a short amount of time. If you were a developer who wasn't Nintendo, you were trying to make a game for mobile just to test those waters. Third, Pixel really wanted to make sure that there was dedicated screen space just for controls. So, to avoid the virtual buttons, he decided that making a digital controller and using the remaining screen pace for the game's display would be optimal. Once again, having something like a digital controller wasn't uncommon for developers to do when porting some of their older titles to mobile, since a lot of developers felt their games needed a controller, so they tried to make it work any way they could. With all this commitment said though, the game still sadly never released. But thankfully, like the original version of the game, the rebooted version of Rockfish has plenty of screenshots, some gameplay, and even music out for the public to see thanks to Pixel's development log and game dev Twitter. Let's take a look at some of the cool stuff. I first want to start off with some of that little bit of gameplay. We get to see our new human protagonist waking up to a radio falling from the sky via a parachute. Admittedly, I don't know much Japanese, so I apologize that I won't be able to translate, but it does appear that they get called and summoned by the person on the radio, as we'll see later in the footage. Oh yeah, the radio also looks like a mini Balrog, so super cute points there. The gameplay continues with our protagonist flying out to a ship in the water and eventually finds who was on the radio with them. After a short chat, the protagonist is attacked by a mouse, and the gameplay ends shortly after. The gameplay genuinely looks cute and simple, yet also ambitious for a mobile game as well. Sadly, at least from my search, I wasn't able to see if there was any confirmed plot for the reboot. I do know that Pixel stated in his blog that plot was a big thing for him to figure out, and it seemed to be one of the biggest struggles of pushing the game to completion as well. Moving on to some screenshots, we get a good look at where some underwater mechanics went, and it went into this slick new submarine. I love that Pixel made the submarine look very clearly inspired by the original Rockfish protagonist, but just more cheery. The detail is great, nothing more to it. Speaking of the submarine, here's a couple of sick images showing off some submarine battles, which I assume is where all the cool shot types were going to be going into. I enjoy the idea of Rockfish's underwater battle system, so submarine battles would have been an amazing implementation. Here's another one showing off the entire ship that we were able to visit in gameplay, and it appears that the game would have consisted of a handful of different hub-like levels like this, 
Maybe with each one having an underwater world to visit to boot? Either way, this is just a cool shot. Next up, we also get a cleaner shot of the Balrog-esque radio from the opening of the game. Let's be honest, I just had to include this one. No specific reason other than that it's a cool cave story reference. Finally, the last thing I want to cover is that Pixel also released a handful of tracks, one of which I played at the very beginning of this video. This song is called Submarine, and I genuinely love it in absolute ton. Here's a quick listen. If you'd like to see way more screenshots and listen to more songs from the Rockfish reboot, as well as more information on the original Rockfish, I'd highly recommend you visit Pixel's game dev Twitter at OXIZN. And yes, I spelled that because I have no idea how to pronounce it. You can also find a lot of Rockfish information compiled incredibly nicely on the Cave Story Tribute site. Links to both will be in the description below. Well, that just about does it for Rockfish. The game never came out and Pixel doesn't really talk about scrapped projects super often, meaning that there's not much to look forward to outside of finally getting that IGF demo. Kinda leaves me with not much to talk about and not really much more to close out on. So... Uh... Nerdio out.